Hello and welcome to Tech by Tosh. My name is Toshit and in this video we are going to look at how to get Microsoft Office for free including Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, OneDrive, Teams and Microsoft OneNote. This is all legal and provided by Microsoft and you can basically get all of these applications for free to use. Let's go and check out how we can actually get Microsoft Office for free. Now to get Microsoft Office for free, we will branch to a site called office.com. Office.com is a site by Microsoft. So this is a legal site. So you're not basically downloading um, you know, any third party copies of Microsoft Office or anything. This service is actually offered by Microsoft and you can get Microsoft Office for free. Now, when you browse to the site, there are a few different options. There is a sign in button, there is get office, and there is sign up for the free version of office. We are looking to get a Microsoft Office for free. So obviously this is the option more suitable for us. But if you already have an account with Microsoft, you can actually use a sign in option as well. Let's just presume we do not have an account with Microsoft and we want to start fresh. So let's click on sign up for the free version of Office. We click on this and this will take us to a sign in page or a sign up page. Now this is actually asking us to create an account. Now what does that mean is it's actually asking you to create an account with Microsoft. So if you already have a Gmail account, you can actually use that Gmail account here and that account will be created as a Microsoft account. If you really want to start fresh, you can actually create, uh, click on get a new email address, which will basically ask you for the new email address and you have the option for that email to be outlook.com or hotmail.com. Now I already have my Gmail account, which I want to use. I don't want to create a new account. So I'll basically say, use your email instead. So I push it to be 50 at gmail.com, which is basically a pure Gmail account. It is not a Microsoft account and I click next. So this is going to ask me to create a password for this account to log on to Microsoft. Now I'll create my password. And click next. Now it is now going to ask me for a verification code which will be sent to my Gmail address. So when I open my Gmail, which is toshelb50 at gmail.com, I can see there is a security code. Now I'm actually going to use that code to enter uh, and verify my email address. Now back to the verification window, I'll enter the code and I do not want any information. Let's just say next. Solve the problem, unit robot. Okay, let's just click next and pick the parrot. So I guess that's the parrot. Looks like the parrot. Yeah, um, obviously we haven't provided our first name and last name. So it's just going to ask us, you know, about first name and last name. Let's just say my name there and click next. And do you want to stay signed in? Let's just say we want to stay signed in and click yes. Now we have our Microsoft Office account created. Um, it is going to, because this is a brand new account, it's basically going to walk us through what we can do, what's not. So it just says, welcome to your new office. Uh, we can create and store files in cloud, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, uh, obviously we are using a free version of office and they, there is a premium, um, version as well. We, we actually get one terabyte plus or one drive. We'll talk more about that later. Let's just quickly close this window. Now, what I have here is, um, you know, my office portal, which we have just signed up. Now, you know, I can actually get Microsoft Word. So let's just click on that launcher and see all apps. Uh, now, what we get as part of the free offer is basically a calendar, Microsoft Excel, Forms, Office, OneDrive Storage, OneNote, Outlook. So it's not just uh, Microsoft, you know, uh, Word, PowerPoint, Excel is basically some other things which we get as part of the free version. 
although this is free but obviously there are some limitations for example you know uh, when you store files and create files and folders um, and documents within your Microsoft Office space uh, you actually get you know um, I think 5 GB of one drive space instead of one terabyte or 10 GB to get more space you definitely need to sign up for uh, a premium version or upgrade your uh, you know OneDrive storage let's say you want to create a Microsoft Word document so let's click on the plus icon and we get an option to create a Word document PowerPoint presentation workbook forms quiz and pages you can create different quizzes for surveys and stuff using Microsoft forms um, and then you know you have your Excel sheet there and you can create a PowerPoint presentation and document this is all for free so Microsoft is giving you this portion the old Microsoft Office uh, for free uh, this you can use online only um, you cannot download Microsoft Office on your computer and to use this you do not need any product key to use Microsoft Office now if there is an option to install office and buy office but these are typically the premium options so if you want to click on install office this will ask you to sign up for a subscription um, where you actually get to install Microsoft Office on your devices which is your you know MacBook or um, Windows device and you can actually there's an option to buy office as well um, there are different plans 365 plan 365 you know uh, family plan um, with the difference is about OneDrive cloud storage uh, but these are all the paid ones now to use the free version Microsoft Office for free um, you basically get online version of Microsoft Office products now you get the full functionality um, there is no difference uh, you can even share files and folders that you create within this space with others uh, let's just see what happens okay let's say we want to create a Microsoft Word document we click on plus icon and the document it has now opened up a Microsoft Word online and we have our document so let's just say this is this this is a new Microsoft um, free word document all right um, and that's our document it's actually saving it so when it saves the document it's actually saving the document within OneDrive as you can see this is actually saved to OneDrive um, let's just go back to the app launcher and click on office again um, it's just going to open a new tab again and we should see our document here so that's the document that we have created it has saved the document under OneDrive um, so OneDrive obviously as part of a free package from Microsoft um, you actually get a OneDrive as well so if you want to see what's in the OneDrive you can click on more in OneDrive and let's just click on that or you can actually click on this icon to go to OneDrive let's just click on this more in OneDrive uh, it's not going to open a new tab um, so this is your OneDrive you can actually store your files and folders within OneDrive uh, let's just close this one and close this one and this is the document that we have created we can click on the document again this document will open um, in you know uh, Microsoft Word online um, and this should give us you know um, the stuff we have typed in the document so that's the document there um, if you go back to the OneDrive um, as I said you know as part of a free package you actually get 5 GB of OneDrive space you can create Microsoft um, Word for free, Microsoft Excel for free, Microsoft PowerPoint for free. All your documents as part of free Microsoft Office, they all get stored within your OneDrive. If you really want to upgrade the storage, you can buy the storage from here or you can actually sign up for, for a new subscription from Microsoft Office where you will be able to install Microsoft Office on your devices and use it as well. I just go back to the office homepage. Um, similarly, I can create a new PowerPoint document and let's just click on PowerPoint this time. And when you click on this, um, you know, clicking on the plus icon, it actually creates a new document, just open as a new blank presentation. But if you click on um, these icons there, which is Microsoft Word, Office for Free, you actually get to see all the different templates as well. And there are some premium templates. I just click on uh, PowerPoint and let's say we want to create uh, a new PowerPoint. 
So it has now opened up a new PowerPoint file um, using um, that particular template. I can edit the title and obviously I have all the different options which you would see in a normal PowerPoint um, for, for basic use, um, you know, um, in all the functionalities there, you can actually create PowerPoint uh, slides, you can share with others. Uh, because it's sitting in OneDrive, so it's basically very easy to share your documents with others and get their feedback on those. Again, this is, um, you know, um, saved to my uh, OneDrive as well. Let's just say free PowerPoint. Um, it's already automatically saving and save to your OneDrive. Let's just go back to the App Launcher again and go to, you know, Office tab. Um, this is um, you know a bit of annoying basically just opens up a tab every time but this is how Microsoft has designed it so you know you have all your documents there similarly you can create a Microsoft Excel for free so this is basically how you can actually get Microsoft Office for free you do not need any product key or anything like that you don't need to get any third-party copies this is pure legal uh, provided by Microsoft um, you can use it for you know free um, there, is, there are no restrictions the only restriction is this is all based online so you know you get to see the online experience but if you do have Microsoft Office uh, installed on your devices or you know have your documents you can definitely upload those documents and they will be uh, you know um, uploaded and they will all appear in this um, space. Another cool functionality or part of a, a free package that you get from Microsoft is Microsoft OneNote. Now, I personally use Microsoft OneNote a lot um, to manage my notes and, you know, um, other um, documents and stuff. Again, this is online. Um, this is a great product to use um, if you, you know, if you, when you go to a meetings or stuff, read more about Microsoft OneNote. Um, you know, you're getting it for free. Uh, Microsoft doesn't charge you anything. It's, it's purely legal. So, you know, you can, you can use it, create your notes online, and this will all be saved. Um, within your OneDrive. So we're talking about OneDrive. So let's just say click on OneDrive again um, or rather go to you know the app launcher and click on the OneDrive. Let's just click on all apps and click on OneDrive and this has opened up a new tab again. Now within OneDrive you know these are documents that I have created. If you want to share these documents with someone um, it's pretty easy to do though so let's just highlight the document and you have all these options you know whether you want to download the document you want to open the document in browser or in word if you have a desktop application installed you want to copy the document you know rename um, and there's a version history as well so you know if you have or someone else has made changes to the document all the versioning is actually saved you can click on the version history and it will tell you who has changed or who has made changes to that particular document. So, you know, this is what we have written. This is what I have written. So if I go back to the older version, which is like about two minutes ago, um, that was the older version. And um, hopefully, you know, there won't be nothing because we, that was a blank document that we, um, you know, opened up. So, and if I want, I can actually restore this document um, to use, um, so, you know, uh, as, as a free product, you, you actually get a lot of uh, pretty decent functionalities offered by Microsoft. Um, going back to sharing, so you know you can actually highlight the document and you can click on the share icon. And with the share icon, it actually gives you options to share um, this uh, link to, to a document with someone else. You just type their um, email address and send it off. If you want them to edit the document, obviously that's the option you can select or you can change it. You can say uh, you, you don't want to allow editing for this document, right? You can also set an expiry date. So for example, if you have um, shared this particular document with someone and you know you just want to share it for a, a period of time, you can actually set an expiry date here. You can click on this um, and set the password there. But again, uh, you know, as you, have seen that this particular functionality is basically blocked or, or for the premium version so we can't really use this functionality but if you if you do have a premium version you can actually use these um, you know OneDrive functions at an expiry date and set the passwords but as a, as a free offering from Microsoft um, these are the basic functions that we receive we can, we can actually you know restrict the editing um, and um, 
open this document in review mode only um, you know so this is how you can actually share your documents and get others to work on the documents or collaborate with them apart from uh, OneDrive and other things um, you know obviously you do get some other uh, cool features and apps as part of the free offering from Microsoft um, so we click on the app launcher again you know these are the applications that you get free um, as as a package so you know you have Skype uh, family safety calendar to do list um, you know um, one drive we talked about outlook is just an application and we click on all apps so you know there is this sway uh, power automate which you can actually use to automate some of the tasks um, so this is pretty much how you can actually get Microsoft Office for free if you don't have Microsoft Office if you're looking to get Microsoft Office for free jump on it um, use it as I said this is completely legal this is completely free offering by Microsoft thank you very much and thank you for watching the video